good afternoon guys. I'm off to the doctors today and I'm not happy because Beepy might have gotten away from having a needle the other day but I'm pretty sure I have to have one today because I need blood work done to be able to uh, do a, like a follow up to my gluten intolerance so yeah I'm not looking forward to this at all. The starkness of a doctor's clinic and information posters. Am I living with diabetes? I don't think so. I don't want a needle. Alright, well much like Beepy, I dodged the needle today too. Only because the pathology place is closed. But I have the paperwork here of what I'm actually going to get done through my blood. This is like broad spectrum. Full blood examination, electrolytes, creatinine, I don't know what that is. Liver function test, fasting lipids, glucose fasting, HDL, LDL, iron studies, B12, folate, vitamin D, calcium, and a celiac screen so holy majoli they are testing for everything so yeah hopefully i can work out and the reason i went guys is because i'm i'm very slow and lethargic i was awesome and full of pep and energy when i was in usa i think it's because i was out and about every day and like doing things but since i've come home i've gone into old routines where i'm sitting in front of the computer again for an extended period of time and i'm just 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 feel sluggish and just not well at all and I've had to increase the amount of gluten-free products that I eat lately and yeah I just know that something is not right so that's why I went to the doctor to get it fixed so hopefully I can get all that done and um yeah that'd be that'd be great so yeah I'll have to go back tomorrow and get a needle well not really a needle they shove a needle and they take out blood a lot of blood <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right. I'm tough. Maybe. Not really. Oh, I've been sitting here for like two hours looking at job sites and things like that in USA trying to figure out if anybody, if any company sponsors people on a certain type of visa. The visa is called a H2B visa. It's for an unskilled worker in a seasonal type job that is non-agricultural, so like hospitality or labor or something like that. You know how freaking hard it is? It's almost impossible because nobody advertises this stuff. So what are you supposed to do? Contact all these companies directly to see if they have such a program to hire an international person. I don't know what to do. It's just, it's just mind boggling. Seriously, if I knew more people in USA, that'd be awesome because I would totally mooch off everybody trying to find and get a job. It's just so damn difficult. But yeah, I will say though, I'm, yeah. <laughs> if any of you Americans know anybody that has gone through the process, know anybody international that's come over and that is working in country, can you give me uh, some insight and experience as to how it went? Because at the moment, because I haven't finished my bachelor's degree yet, I can't get a visa that is for a specialized worker. I can only get an unskilled work visa. And I really do want to come back so very bad because yeah, one month wasn't enough. I need more. I want to, I want to experience the full everything. So yeah, I will say if you're a USA viewer and one, you know, somebody who came over from a different country and worked in USA, can you like give me some insight? Or two, if you have the ability to maybe vouch for me and you know somebody in the same region that I stayed in last time, in like the, the upstate New York region. Seriously, this is like, this is like a call to arms here because yeah, I need some serious help and with an international audience watching this vlog, there has to be one of you guys that can maybe help me out a little bit. So yeah, help, please. <laughs> Finally found gluten-free pasta that I want, <clears throat> and it's not even pasta. It's spirals, but it's actually 99% brown rice, and the rest is just preservatives to make it like zit. But yeah, so I mix that, and then I got this sun-dried tomato pesto that I put in with it. And then I add in a full can of carrots full can of like baby um uh, full can of baby corn oh my god full can of sweet corn full can of baby carrots and a can of tuna in spring water so so good it doesn't make sense at all and it shouldn't go together but it 
That tastes so good. In the pasta, no effects at all because it's just brown rice. Gluten free. So good. Very happy. Holy crap, Holy, I think it's getting to a point where I really need a haircut. Look how long that is. Holy hell. I got this haircut done at like the beginning of November, like three or four days before I went overseas and it's beginning of January now. My hair grows so fast. That is ridiculous. I don't think hair is supposed to grow this fast. What, 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 like vitamin in your body or whatever the hell it is makes your hair grow this fast. Same with my nails too. It's always been the same. My hair and my nails always grow super fast and I can never understand why. And it's really annoying because haircuts cost, haircuts cost a fortune. <laughs> anyway, I'm complaining because I don't really care about it now because I'm about to go to sleep and get massive bed heads. So I'll see you all tomorrow, guys. Star Wars t-shirt. Yes. I have like four Star Wars t-shirts now. So good. It's Japanese. Pretty sure that's Japanese. Is that Japanese? Pretty sure that's Japanese. Is anybody, can anybody read uh, whatever language that is? Pretty sure that's Japanese. Anyway, I'm going to bed, guys. See you all tomorrow. <sighs> Good night. Do, 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 do,